What's up, Barrett? Little dude. Look what I did over the weekend. I see. I built the roof, and Barrett and I just cut the top boards. But they need to be notched to make them flush. They need to have a rabbit on the end. And I had just the bit for that here. So, Barrett, what we'll do is we'll lay them down and I'll route them out. On the table. Okay. I ordered a router table, and that's what I need is the router table. Let me see if I can clean up this end right here. I'll be going to get our, when we get our router table. Yep. What you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come sometime today, I think. I do and bear it, see if they fit good. All flush. That's the flush. Now grab the roof and. Um, Grab the roof, Barrett. All right. And we'll put put it on. Show them how that works. We need to find our hinges. See now, this is what saved us. Uh, on, we remember when the bulls knocked it over. Now yep. this, this is what saved us. The lid comes down and locks those in. So if the hive is turned over for some reason, I mean, the bees won't be happy, but at least all the frames won't fall out. <laughs> what did you say? It looks like the Imperial Walkers, what do they call them? Yeah. What do they use. call them? It looks more like that without the roof. Yeah. But go ahead, put the roof on. It'll be fine. So we're gonna go to Ace Hardware now and get the hinges. And then at the bottom, I don't know if you remember from our last videos uh, from building the previous hives, there's a treated two by six or eight that goes across the bottom there. And that's how you level it. You raise you know, one end or the other of the hive up and screw it in. So that's your leveling mechanism. These legs are cut to a height that allows them to be off the ground about an inch uh, so they don't touch the ground. So the only thing that touches the ground are those treated, do we have any treated pine? Yeah, I think we do. We can make those. Oh well, it's lunch time, isn't it? <laughs> Bear's like, yeah, it's lunch time. Forget you, Dad, let's go eat lunch. But we're almost done, so now we gotta do is find a place to put it and some bees. Did you know Pigeon Mountain was sold out this time last year? Actually, last year, Pigeon Mountain was sold out in December, I'm pretty sure, for pre-orders. But I noticed that you could get them. That's the closest place to, to us to buy bees. So I think we're still going to be able to get bees. I just need to find a place to put the hive. We're not going to put it back in bull land or yeah, that's know, what I was thinking. bush where, where hog land. Gonna, huh? That's what I was thinking. Like, where are we going to... Oh, we'll find some place, hopefully. If anybody's around Chattanooga and you got a big pasture somewhere we can get to, please call us. We need a big farm somewhere we can put our beehive on. But we've got some cedar shakes coming for the roof, and we're going to go get some hinges, and we'll be set. Oh, the wire, the number eight wire is coming, the heavy-duty hardware cloth. You might as well not even think about using cheap bug screen for the bottom you need that heavy stuff like we had for the last hive and um so anyway if you want one of these give me a email at tony at hardisontony.com and i think they're going to be about 350 something like that for introductory rate can't make them too much cheaper than that so 
And what we would do is we would make them and then we would break them down into pieces and ship them so they wouldn't be so large and then I'd have an instructional video on how to put it back together. So anyway, thanks guys and we'll see you next time.